Hello everyone. In our last discussion, we examined cable tray sizing calculations and various installation methods for single conductor cables that affect their ampacity. We discovered that when single conductor cables are installed in a single layer with a spacing of at least one cable diameter between each conductor, or arranged in a triangular configuration with free airspace of at least 2.15 times the diameter of the largest conductor, the full ampacity of the cable can be utilized without derating factors. Today, we will explore the effects of arranging the cables in a single layer compared to a triplex configuration. Which configuration do you think is preferable? Without further ado, let's get started on our topic. In a multi-phase power system, maintaining balanced currents and voltages is essential for efficient power delivery, preventing equipment damage, minimizing energy losses, and ensuring reliable operation by evenly distributing the load across all phases. This helps avoid issues like overheating, voltage fluctuations, and premature failures of devices such as motors, particularly in three-phase systems. The arrangement of conductors is crucial for maintaining balanced currents and voltages in electrical systems for several reasons. Proper placement ensures that the electromagnetic fields around each conductor are evenly distributed, reducing the risk of unbalanced inductance and capacitance that can lead to fluctuations in current and voltage. Adequate spacing and symmetrical positioning of conductors minimize mutual inductance and capacitance, preventing unwanted interactions that can cause imbalances. Let's analyze it for a cable tray installation, In the illustration shows a single conductor installed in a cable tray in a single layer, with at least one cable diameter of spacing between each conductor. The distance between the center lines of phase A to phase B and phase B to phase C is 2D, twice the outside diameter of the conductors, while the distance between phase A and phase C is larger, at 4D. What happens when the conductors are spaced unevenly? When current flows through a conductor, it generates a magnetic field around it and an inductance exists between each conductor. As the conductors are spaced further apart, less of this magnetic field interacts with the neighboring conductor, resulting in weaker magnetic coupling and higher inductance. For three or more conductors arranged in a single layer, the effects on each conductor are as follows. Conductor A has high capacitance with conductor B due to the closer spacing but lower capacitance with conductor C because of the larger distance. Its inductance is lower with conductor B due to proximity and higher with conductor C because of the increased spacing. Conductor B exhibits high capacitance with both A and C. Its inductance is lower with A and also relatively low with C, benefiting from its proximity to both. Conductor C shows lower capacitance with conductor A due to the greater distance and higher capacitance with conductor B. Its inductance is higher with conductor A because of the increased spacing and moderate with conductor B. For these reasons, a single-layer configuration is not recommended. The imbalance in inductance and capacitance can lead to increased reactance and reduced efficiency. Additionally, the lack of symmetry contributes to higher electromagnetic interference EMI, which may negatively impact the performance of nearby equipment and increase the risk of signal degradation. Thermal management is also a concern. Imbalanced loading can create hot spots and overheating, especially in high-current applications, potentially damaging insulation and shortening the lifespan of the conductors. Overall, system efficiency suffers due to increased losses from resistive heating and reactive power, resulting in higher operational costs. Now, considering the trefoil or triangular arrangement, in a balanced three-phase system, each phase conductor, labeled 1, 2, and 3, carries equal currents that are 120 degrees out of phase. When these conductors are closely positioned, their magnetic fields interact significantly. Each conductor generates a magnetic field represented by phasers, beta sub 1, beta sub 2, and beta sub 3, with magnitudes equal due to the equal current. The angle between each magnetic field vector is 120 degrees, leading to a closed triangle when added, resulting in a net sum of zero. This close positioning allows the magnetic fields to cancel each other out, reducing the overall inductive reactance and minimizing the strength of the magnetic field. The benefits of this arrangement include reduced inductive reactance, which lowers system reactance, and minimized heat generation, decreasing the potential for eddy currents and hysteresis losses, thereby enhancing efficiency and safety. For these reasons, a trefoil configuration is recommended due to the following advantages. 1. Balanced inductance and capacitance. The symmetrical configuration results in balanced inductance and capacitance among the conductors, improving overall electrical performance. 2. Reduced inductive reactance. 
The close proximity of conductors allows for effective magnetic field interaction, minimizing inductive reactance and enhancing efficiency. 3. Lower Electromagnetic Interference EMI. The symmetrical layout helps cancel out electromagnetic fields, reducing EMI and protecting sensitive nearby equipment. 4. Improved Thermal Management even load distribution decreases the risk of hotspots and overheating, which can extend the lifespan of insulation and conductors. 5. Enhanced system stability. Balanced currents ensure stable voltage levels, reducing the likelihood of fluctuations that can affect equipment performance. 6. Increased efficiency. Lower resistive heating and minimized reactive losses contribute to overall energy efficiency, leading to reduced operational costs. 7. Compatibility with high current applications. The trefoil configuration is particularly beneficial in high current applications, where managing inductance and heat is crucial. The trefoil configuration is generally more advantageous than the single layer configuration in terms of power quality. However, if a single layer configuration is necessary, it doesn't automatically result in an unbalanced system. There are methods available to achieve balance in these cases. In transmission lines, particularly when transporting energy over long distances, it's important to consider capacitance effects, as different capacitances among phases can lead to imbalances in the electrical system. One effective approach is to periodically rotate the positions of the conductors within the circuit, ensuring that each phase spends an equal distance in each position from the sending end to the receiving end. This adjustment is vital because of the capacitance between conductors and between the conductors and ground. In electrical power transmission, a transposition tower modifies the relative physical positions of conductors in a polyphase system, allowing sections to connect while maintaining adequate clearance. Transposition is a technique that helps equalize the overall reactances for each phase along the entire length of the cable. This technique can also be applied to single-layer configurations in cable trays. For example, with two transpositions, each conductor occupies one of the three positions, phase A, phase B, and phase C for one-third of the total cable length. For very long runs, additional transpositions may be required, but the fundamental principle is that each conductor should occupy each position for one-third of the length. Thus, to mitigate imbalances in single-layer configurations, transposition is an effective strategy. By periodically switching the positions of phase conductors, we can equalize reactances and improve the overall efficiency of the electrical system. Thank you all for watching. Thank <laughs> you.